Hey guys, today we're gonna compare the intercooler bricks um, on the Magnuson uh, AKA TRD blower and the Herop uh, blower and also kind of the overall design of the supercharger and uh, which one appears to be a little bit more efficient. So here's the Magnuson intercooler brick. Uh, it's not terrible but it's not very dense. The fins on it have a decent amount of spacing between them and uh, you can pretty much see right through it. Um, so that's kind of one of the uh, areas that they could improve on the design because the less fins you have the less heat is gonna transfer from the intercooler fluid uh, or sorry from the um, supercharged hot air into the intercooler fluid. Uh, the Herop intercooler core is super dense much denser than the TRD Magnuson intercooler core. I have a really bright light shining underneath it and you can barely see any light through it so that makes it a lot more efficient than the Magnuson one it's also quite large measuring 16 inches long three inches wide and three inches tall so we'll calculate the volume of the Herop intercooler cores. So they're 16 by 3 by 3 and then we gotta times it by 2 because we have two cores inside of this supercharger. Uh, and that adds up being 288 cubic okay, inches. So let's look at the overall size of this brick. So it's about 13 inches wide, about 6 inches deep and approximately uh, 2 and a quarter inches tall. So that gives us a total uh, core volume of approximately 175 cubic inches. And we just have obviously the one brick uh, versus Herop's two. So if we take those 288 and divide by the 175 that we measured in the Magnuson blower, we end up with about a 65% larger uh, total core volume. So that will definitely help with cooling that superheated air a little bit better uh, in the hair up setup. Let's look at it a little bit at the design of this setup as well. So the hot air that's compressed by the supercharger rotor comes in through here and it goes through the intercooler and then it has to come out and go into the runners through this little gap right there. Now that gap is only 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, thick so that doesn't give a lot of room for the air to go into the runners and travel onto the uh, cylinder heads. Once the air comes out of the rotors and goes through the intercooler it goes up towards the lid and then it travels down and there is quite a bit of a distance that it has to travel uh, before it reaches the cylinder heads right here. You can see on the outside. So in essence it has to travel from here all the way down the runner and then out. So what that does is it gives the air a chance to get reheated uh, after it's been cooled by the intercooler. This is what the inside of the Herop um, supercharger housing looks like. So as I mentioned before, it's, uh, it has a super efficient design. Uh, compressed air comes straight out of the top right there and shoots right through the intercooler cores, one for each bank, and then straight into the um, cylinder head. So no long runners uh, to get the air reheated again after it passes through the intercooler. On the Hera blower, the um, intercooler coolant hose is attached directly to the cores themselves. So unlike the Magnuson where uh, coolant comes in from the lid and then there's an o-ring on the inside which leaks sometimes. Uh, so this eliminates another failure point in this design. Uh, this is the intercooler lid and the coolant comes in through those uh, fittings right there and then it has to pass uh, through, through over here and go into the core itself. So 
On the inside, we have a couple of O-rings and, um, you know, most of the time they don't leak, but uh, I have seen them leak a couple of times. So there is a little bit of a extra failure point in this design. So in the end, is Hera better than the Magnuson? Yeah, it sure is. Um, it has a twin intercooler cores. They're more dense. They're larger overall volume. Uh, the design itself is more efficient. Uh, as soon as the air passes through the cores, it shoots straight into the cylinder heads. Uh, it doesn't have to get forced through a small, narrow, three-eighths of an inch uh, passage. Uh, and of course, the supercharger itself uh, is 40% more displacement, so it doesn't have to work as hard uh, to push the same volume of air. But uh, both are good superchargers. Uh, once you max out the Maggie at approximately 14 PSI, it's probably time to step up to something a little bit larger. All right, guys, see you in the next episode. Cheers.